Few, if any, knew Brent Christensen better. But in the initial days after he killed Ying Ying Zhang, Michelle Zortman said she had no idea she was married to a killer. Her voice cracking with emotion as she told the jury she still cares for her ex-husband. He was the biggest person in my life for most of a decade, Zorman said, almost all my adult life. She testified Christensen battled alcoholism and depression, causing marital problems that led them to open up their marriage. On the night Christensen, at a vigil for Jung, was recorded by his then-girlfriend confessing to the murder, Zortman says her husband was visibly drunk. His attorneys arguing that many of the disturbing details were alcohol-fueled. On the day Jung got into Christensen's car, Zortman hours earlier had gone away for the weekend with another man to Wisconsin Dells, where she and Christensen had honeymooned. Her trip, Zortman testified, had made Christensen upset, adding to what the defense has called a perfect storm that led Christensen to unravel. But under cross-examination, Zortman was questioned about alleged attempts by Christensen to hide the murder. She testified that he told her a sizable blood stain on their mattress was from a nosebleed he'd had. Jung's DNA later found there. She said he cleaned the interior of their car twice, which she thought was odd. The defense concluding its case with video of Christensen trying to get help for his demons, telling a U of I counselor about thoughts he'd had of harming himself and others, and his fascination with serial killers. I've always been interested in the bad guys and stuff, he told a counseling intern. I'm done with these thoughts. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about them. Less than three months later, Ying Ying Jung was dead. In that counseling video, Christensen was asked if he had ever acted on his dark thoughts. He said he had cut his hand purposely with a razor. When asked if he had followed anyone, he said, quote, not specific people. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.